Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope you're all well and staying safe. And in today's video, we are going to be doing another Forza Thun guide. Now this guide is for this week's Forza Thun called Proceed at a High Velocity. And it wants you to own and drive any Super GT car. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got a quick one and I'll tell you why in a minute. So when you filter all of your Super GT cars, for me anyway, I had quite a lot of Aston Martins, a few Ferraris and a handful of Mercedes Benz. But the Ferrari in the end won it for me and it was the F12 Berlinetta that I went for. Now the reason for this is because you can tune it to a very, very high top speed and that is definitely relevant for the final challenge. So here is a tune I've created. It's called 271 MPH. Uh, and the reason for this, like I said, is because it's really relevant for the final challenge. Now the share code for this is 8198159555. So if you do want to use it, you can always download that tune. Now the first challenge here just wants you to earn 10 par skills with your Super GT car which is really really nice and easy to be honest and to complete this I went over to the Ambleside Rush cross country. Now I did this because obviously I've got a track that I've created that I'm sure some of you guys have used before and it's a nice and simple one where obviously the AI go off on their own up the hill sort of thing and you can overtake them all. Now the race is called quick and easy win and the share code for it is 622 three eight eight two seven five like i said this is one that i've used and shared before uh, and it's quite an easy one to be honest now like i said the reason behind this is because you can just fly past loads of cars now if you're on a harder difficulty you'll be starting further at the back of the pack which means obviously more cars to overtake meaning more pass skills now all you have to do really is probably this race a couple of times so as soon as you finish first time hit x and then restart the race and you'll go straight back to the beginning basically and you can run it again to get as many more pass skills as you need and you can obviously continue doing this until you've got all the pass skills that are required to complete this challenge as you can see there quite a few have popped up including the triple pass so it'll probably only take two to three attempts if that and then there's the first challenge completed nice and quickly now the next challenge wants you to earn a total of nine stars from drift zones in your gt car now for this you don't need to look any further than the horizon donut drift zone the reason for this is obviously three stars is only 30,000 points but at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on every run because the good thing about this one is you can just bank as many until you get the total of nine stars so you could get a couple of runs of two stars and a couple of runs of one star or you can just get three runs of three stars it really depends on what car you're using and sort of how good you are at drifting so to speak but it's really really easy and the good thing about the horizon donut is as soon as you finished it you just go round again literally in a big circle and you're doing it again and again as many times as required so it's a nice and simple one here really really not too difficult and to be honest i set this ferrari's tune up for its top speed really um, but it's actually not too bad on the drift circuit i know that it's all wheel drive and like i said that was aimed for the top speed there but it's still actually pretty decent for completing this challenge. But again, you can use whichever Super GT car you want, but you will need something quick for this final challenge. Now, the final challenge wants you to earn three stars at the Princess Street Speed Trap. Now, like I said, you will definitely need some form of upgrades to your car. Uh, and the tune that I'm using will allow you to get 271 mile an hour out of your Ferrari. Fair enough, you probably won't hit that top speed, but it will sort of come in handy. Now, the speed trap is up in Edinburgh and it's on the main high street, so it's a long straight. And to get three stars in this, you need to hit 230 mile an hour. And yes, you do need to get three stars in one run. You cannot get two, two stars and then one star. Now you want to start on the roundabout and then be coming off the roundabout about 100 plus mile an hour and hit this left hand a bend here almost at 200 mile an hour in order to hit 230 mile an hour for the speed trap. Now I've tried this in multiple cars and after I've shown you this Ferrari hitting it I will show you another Ferrari just in case you guys don't actually have this one to prove that it can be done in a couple of different cars Now I'm sure that you can tune up a couple of the Mercedes or the Aston Martins for it. One other thing to note as well is those lamp, those sort of poles in between the tram tracks, if you hit them, they will slow you down, so you'll probably need to rewind for it. But as you saw there, I hit over 230 mile an hour. And in this bit, again, weaving in between those sort of poles, 
because if you do hit one it will knock 10 to 15 mile an hour off your speed which will definitely make an impact uh, and there you just saw 236 mile an hour so this Ferrari definitely is good for it just showing you a few clips to prove that it can be done in this one just on the other side of the road no real difference but still over 230 mile an hour now if you don't have the f12 burn letter you can use the 599 gto and i'm assuming that a lot of you guys will have this car because it is quite a common one again i've created a tune for this one now it's not as fast as the f12 but it's close enough so this top speed is 261 mile an hour and that's what the tune is called the share code for this is 127720884 now this is literally if you don't have the f12 like i said you can use this one it does a good as job um, I mean, I think for this first one, I only hit 231 and a half mile an hour, but again, it's over the three star limit. So really it's, you know, it's a pass at the end of the day. It's nothing magnificent, but it'll get the job done. And that's all we really want from this. So it's probably a fairly difficult challenge because of the sort of class of cars, but there is definitely some that can do it as I've shown you. And if you need any help or support with this challenge, please do say so in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help you out as best as I can, but hopefully this guide has explained it. But like I said, if you've got anything that needs clearing up, just let me know down below. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it. Apart from that, I hope that you're all staying safe. Make sure you take care and all the best guys.